The alligator is an absolute monster. I think this ship might single-handedly change the meta of EVE Online. And we've got a couple fits for you. So if you want the best EVE guides and all the latest fits for the new expansion, EVE Havoc, you came to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And look at this. The alligator is here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that Garista bunny right on the side. Fantastic. And we've got the good stuff for you in the form of a shieldy, droney, missily fit. Now, before we go any further, the total cost of this fit is not to be trusted right now. We are on the test server and all the numbers are jacked up. I would love a 13.5 million battle cruiser, but that's just not going to happen. Now that's out of the way, we have to talk about why this ship is going to change E forever. We have two fits for you. We're going to show this one first. This one gets over a thousand DPS while maintaining unheated a 95k EHP. Ladies and gentlemen, that's so freaking powerful for a battlecruiser, goodness gracious. Not to mention you buff your entire party with freaking command burst. So if that didn't make it obvious, let's continue showing you why and when you should use the alligator. You're going to get real tanky with your Kaldari battlecruiser skills, and you're going to get more DPS with your Galentia battlecruiser skills, but don't let that fool you. This is a drone boat. The missiles are in fact secondary. The roll bonuses the alligator gets for medium combat combat drone damage and hit points means the drones are much harder to kill and they absolutely pack a wallop. And something super slept on is the drone micro warp velocity right here. This means the drones will get to their targets faster and come back to your bay faster. This means you don't have to waste a mid slot on a drone nav computer. Better application, better DPS, better ship. So if you look with some augmented Vespas here, we're currently getting 621 DPS with our drones and just over 400 DPS with the old missiles. So you do want to prioritize drone damage with that said, which is why we're starting in the low slots. We have three drone damage amplifiers, and y'all splurge on these. Get the best ones you can. For the sake of this video, we're going to only be using Tech 2s. I want to show you the DPS difference this has when we turn all three of these off. You go from 392 DPS way up to 621 with these three. The only reason we didn't run another one is because I like running a damage control too. I think it makes a more even ship. Gives you a little bit of buffer or something goes haywire. So keep that on if you want the extra tank. And as you can see, if you put a fourth drone damage amplifier on, you only go up to 657 DPS. It's a pretty small DPS increase. And that really worth doing. Now, the mids is going to have a bunch of tank involved. We've got an EM shield hardener. This is going to close that EM hole you have. It gives you 50% more, so this is massive. Two multi-spectrum shield hardeners. These are just to cover the bases. Feel free to cater your resistances to whatever you're fighting against. And then we're going to have a large compact shield booster. Now, you can bling this guy out to get him more healing. We're currently getting 59.5 HP per second. Not a big heal by any means, but you don't really need it as much with the sheer resistances you have. Again, unheated, we're at 94.508. And if we overheat it, we go up to just under 109k effective HP. Yeah, she got a big booty. Now, to make this even better, you're going to run a single shield command burst, the shield harmonizing charge. The harmonizing charge is going to increase even more the resistances of you and your team. We chose this one for this fit because since your heals are a little bit low, we want to make up for that with as much resistance as possible. Finally, for our guns, we are going to use heavy assault missile launcher twos. Make sure you're using thermal style ammo. That or kinetic is what you get your roll bonuses from. With a rank five battle cruise, you're going to do 50% more DPS. Ugh, fantastic. And then finally for the rigs, we've got a core field defense extender. You gain about 4,500 shield HP when you turn these on. So essentially you're increasing your base shield HP by 50%. And finally, we have a cheap processor overclocking unit just to give you a little bit more extra CPU to be able to fit that large shield booster. Now let's talk about the drones. Now the alligator is a fairly well-balanced ship in my opinion. The damage bonus is only to medium combat drones and you can only use two because of your bandwidth. With the augmented Vespas that we have here and make sure you bring extras just in case. You can see the ridiculous power spike that these get from the alligator. From 540 HP to 2400 HP. And that's just the structure. They go from 252 armor to 1100. It's going to be really hard to kill these suckers. And the shield goes from 650 to 29 almost. If you have all of these skills, medium drone operation, interfacing the alligator skill itself, and also the drone damage amplifiers, you take the base value multiplier of the drone's damage from 2 to 39. This is why this is a drone ship and not a missile ship. The range on these are a little bit close up, about 17k, but the drones are the bulk of the damage and you're able to throw them about 60k I'm out. No worries there. Now, before we forget, we are running a single afterburner here. I hate slow boating. You don't have to have an afterburner. And if you're supported by your fleet buddies, you don't necessarily need one. But I like to have one of these on just to be able to make sure that we can get from A to B. Without the afterburner, I'm going 200 MS on the nose and with the afterburner on me, more than double our speed. Lauro, is that the only fit you have for us? Oh no, no. I save the best for last. If y'all 
thought that was a good fit, let me introduce you to the passive alligator tank, a silent assassin, and an absolute unit. Right off the bat, you're going to notice that her EHP is increased to just under 114k, and her DPS didn't go down that much. Now, the kicker here is that we're using passive shield regeneration, and we get 138 HP per second back for an absolutely nothing. Now, the resistances are a little lower. We had to get rid of a couple modules to make sure that we fit this correctly, because you'll notice our lows are now housing, shields, power relays, instead of full drone damage amplifiers. That's okay, because he did. We are at a solid 129,000 EHP, baby. And did y'all see how big the shield is? 28K on the shield. This is the better fit of the two. And I want to make sure the ones that watched to the end of this video were well rewarded. We typically do that in our videos, so make sure you keep doing it. Now let's talk about the changes fit to fit. We already talked about the lows. You're going to be running these shield power relays. These increase your passive shield regen. We've opted for only two multi-spectrum shield hardeners. We got rid of the other basic whatever the heck resist hardener was. We needed the space for another shield recharger too. This does the same as the shield's power relays, except in the mids. And then we have two large shield extenders. Now, this isn't exactly a well-known thing in EVE. The larger your base shield value, the more your passive shield regen is. Let me prove it to you. We turn off this large shield extender, and you'll see my max shield HP went down, but also the shield recharge goes from 111, if I turn this back on, to 138. So the higher shield you have, the more your shield regen is. That's why we get two large shield extenders here. So if you want to bling something out on the ship, bling this. And then y'all know I had to put the afterburner still in there. Now, the second to last change is we're going to use the shield extension charge in our command burst. This is going to increase our already large shield HP by another 8%. This coupled with our rigs, which are now solely tank focused at two medium core field extenders and then one EM reinforcer to close that EM hole. All of this is going to get you that large effective HP, incredible passive tank, and using the same drone still doing just under 1000 DPS. This is a brick. It's going to be super hard to kill, and I look forward to seeing it on all the Z kills out there. Now, before you go, if you want to win hundreds of millions ASK, I would stay tuned if I were you. Now, we are EVE partners. That means the devs give me skins to give to you. So if you want to win all that ISK, you got to do these three things. First thing you got to do is subscribe. By the way, we're getting real close to 10K. Thanks for that. My bot's going to know if you're not sub, then you'll be disqualified. Second thing you're going to do is go in the comments and put, wow, an alligator. That plus being subscribed is going to enter you in. Next, you're going to put your in-game name in that same comment. I have to know who the heck to send the prize to. Do those three things and you'll be entered to win. We announced the winner of these in our community tab of our YouTube page. A couple days after the video is released, come on back and see if you won. Y'all, I'm super stoked for Eve Havoc. I'm going to get me one of these ships myself. So sub for all the Havoc guys. we got more coming out for you. All of our Eve guides are right here. We've got big live streams coming up tournaments. So make sure you come on back and we'll see you in the next video.